I have a quick and easy way for you to learn how to paint. I taught myself at home how to paint with my seven children, put them in the bed at night and wanted to paint so bad. I didn't know where to go or how to figure this out. But let me tell you, I learned how to take a brush. I multi-loaded it. It looked like that's what people did to me. And I loaded it mostly flat brushes. And I was able to stroke that looked like I blended, shaded and highlighted in each stroke. So I am thrilled to share with you that my YouTube channel takes people who always dream of painting and help them to be able to learn how to paint. It's very simple to go from a little greeting card to a painting like this behind me. And I'm telling you that I've made my channel work for you. I'm Donna Dewberry, and I have put on different little lessons here to help you from a novice to somebody who's never tried, to somebody who's painted a lot, to do a different technique that will make it quick and easy. And you don't mind spending an hour and putting out something to give us a gift to sell and make money. It's all about having fun with art. It's better than drugs, guys. It helps you just take a deep breath, relax and think about something other than the woes, right? So let me share with you that on my channel right here for you, don't go away because I'm going to paint something for you at the end of this. But I want you to know right here on my channel, I have Relax and Paint, where we wake up early in the morning and we do a fun little project that I want you to know that they're fun and easy from painting on paper to painting on glass, anything that you'd like to paint on. And then, so if there's a stroke like, mm, I didn't do that leaf, that leaf looks hard to me, or look at that petal. I take you to every brush, to every petal on my practice strokes. They're quick little tutorials and you get to practice them during the week before another one comes out. And many people binge on that. They have a great time with saying, I thought I was doing that stroke like Donna said, oh, but look, she has a little twist that I didn't see. So this is what I want you to see. And what I've come up with about six months ago as a membership because of popular demand, people wanted to come on and become more of an artist and do lessons that are full length lessons. You can go back and look at all the lessons in the past that we've done and we do one a week. So you get four lessons and it's called One Stroke Advantage. And there's lots of advantages by being members of my YouTube One Stroke Advantage. And you just join that or you subscribe and you get notified when I have lives or when I'm putting on a new Relax and Paint and a new Practice Strokes. So when I say One Stroke Advantage, there's another film that shows you all about what One Stroke Advantage is. But what you get to do is have four lessons a month for $9.95. So the idea of doing that is to bring more people onto the YouTube channel so that I can spend more time educating and teaching you. And I say you don't have to draw to be able to paint, but I even teach some drawing lessons and more are coming up this year. Lots of kids love to draw. TikTok, I've got, I've become a little famous on TikTok and there's millions of watchers there and a lot of youth that are loving one stroke painting. So let me share with you that I am going to show you a little bit of painting in just a minute, but I want you to know this is going to change your life if you wanted to learn how to paint and never thought you could. Thank you for watching and keep on watching as I'm painting. See you later. Let's paint. Okay, are you ready to see what one stroke's all about? What we've got is folk art multi-surface paint. It paints on glass, metal, ceramic, indoors, outdoors, and vivid rich colors. Makes It looks kind of like you're painting with oils. They're so rich and vivid and vibrant. Thick, creamy is the magic to one stroke painting. And I have folk art multi-surface. No, I have folk art floating medium. I do have multi-surface. But the floating medium is the clear gel. That's the fluff that's inside our paint with no pigment in it. So that's important because I don't want you to use water. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna take my great brushes. I have some signature brushes and other just green um, brushes. This, these uh, right here are in a value pack. There's 10 brushes 
for less than $19. So it's a real super deal. It's on onestroke.com and there are 10 brushes and those have multiple flats, have scruffy brushes, liner brushes. You're going to love them. Okay. So it makes it really quick and easy for you. I have all the tools from basins to palettes. I even, instead of a foam plate, after you get going, if you're having a problem with double loading, I teach you how to do this on the practice strokes and how to double load with this little tool. All right. So they're fun and it'll make a difference, but just watch and you will see. All right. So you're going to take your brush and you're going to dampen, dampen it by putting it in water, laying it on the paper towel and taking out that moisture. You just want to wet it to get started. All right. So now look what's going to happen. I'm going to come right in between these two colors. And if they're not next to each other, you dip and dip and then you work it in. Okay, now look really quick and fast, I mean with pressure and not because I want you to be fast, but that gets the paint inside the bristles, not just on the surface, okay? All right, so since I'm on, I'm just on a piece of um, art paper, okay? Just regular paper. You can get cardstock. There's all kinds of scrapbooking paper, whatever. Then I'm going to dip into just a little bit of the floating medium so it goes smooth on the paper. All right. And you only go into this every second, third, or fourth stroke. Don't do it every stroke. All right. So lots of paint, lots of paint. All right. So what I want to show you is right here. We're going to start and do a cabbage rose. So I want to show you how quick this happens. One, two, three, that's the starter stroke. Scrub and see my brush is going straight up and down. There's three P's that are important. Like I'm gonna go back, more paint. They are enough paint is the first P. They handle straight up and down. I'm leaning it a little bit so you guys can see my stroke. And then enough pressure. So if you stand up here and do this with no pressure, it doesn't look like anything. But I'm going one, two, three, push down, scrub, and stand up. All right, pressure. So those are the three P's. And so think about them again. Paint, position of the brush, and pressure. Okay, so now I'm just going to put two lines, which is going to help me to do the bud in the middle up and over, like over hill, touch right there where you line, where you started and make a U, all right? So you started there and you ended there. Let's go back to that starter line here. One, two, three, push down pressure and come around here. One, two, three, because that side doesn't, hasn't been blended. And there's a second stroke. And then you can do one or two to fill in here, okay? Now I mess up the U, so I always come back and just clean it up to there for the next stroke, all right? These are the last two strokes, you're gonna, or two or three, you're gonna touch, you're gonna lean the white, and then you're gonna lift the pink. Okay, so touch, lean the white, lift the pink. Now I teach you all kinds of roses. This is just a simple beginner rose to get you going. So I can go restroke by getting fresh paint if you need to. All right, and then I'm gonna come up here and just show you a rosebud. So look at this. Now I want to inspire you to believe that with these simple strokes, I'm gonna be able to teach you how to paint flowers that you didn't think you could do. Now I didn't clean the brush, I just dipped the Violet Pansy. I used magenta and white for the rose, Violet Pansy and white for the iris. Now look what's gonna happen. I'm gonna move this over here. We're on just a, a nice piece of multimedia uh, board. All right, there's the center of the iris. And then I want you to see, I'm gonna have one here and one there. We're gonna come down here. All right, so you have a map. So what I want you to do is wiggle up and then wiggle down. All right, now, if that's a little difficult, 
I can go just like this and wiggle up. And then I can start right here and push down, push down and come around. All right, so you don't have to go up and come down. You can just practice that way. Okay, so let's dip again and let's flatten the brush right here. All right, so I can just grab a little bit of yellow now, daffodil yellow on the white edge. Now look what happens here. I'm gonna come around and then I can come right here and wiggle back up. All right. Now, isn't that amazing that it can look like that with just how we load the brush? This is wiggling down to meet this. I need a little bit more. Okay. Now I can stop and then come up this way if it makes it easier for you, okay? I just have to make those match. So if something doesn't look just like you want it to, then all you do is pick out fresh paint and try it again, okay? So now I wanna show you that I'm gonna take a little small brush. We have all these flat sizes, all right? So I'm gonna come right in here. All right, let me show you, I didn't do that well. Let's get white and daffodil, okay? We wipe it off, and this is how I teach. So I change things around. I kind of find simple ways for you to do what we wanna make happen, all right? So there's more detail that you can put into that flower, but you don't need to, we can just do that. We wash the brush and we're using the three quarter again. Okay, so now look what happens. I'm gonna go in between these two colors, dip some yellow or dip some white into the happy green and sap green. Okay, now I do do a little bit of medium because this is what I'm gonna do. Let's go up higher so you can see this happen. I'm gonna go one, two, three, pull these little chisel on the chisel strokes. Okay, so this is how I teach you. And I might not go this fast. I'm just doing this because I want you to see chisel, push, chisel, push. Push means pressure. <laughs> All right, more paint. And then I chisel, stand up. Now you can see I'm dry, so I need more paint. So I did stroke right here to get paint, but we need a little medium well, because these are long strokes. So I chisel up. Right, and then I'm going to come along here and drop it. So really fun, single strokes, because I have the brush loaded well, I can make this happen, okay? Now, what I wanna do is come in here with a vine that will take this rose right here and show you how quick. I'm gonna also put some little, I'm gonna put a little wisteria hanging there. Look. All right, work this in a little bit of, and see you just restroke if you're not happy with something. Are you having fun yet? This is what I'd love to share with you. You can make it happen with simple having the brushes, the bristles are made to spring and do the strokes that I'm sharing with you to hold lots of pain. And as I wiggle and come around, all I do is release pressure and it springs up. All right, so I'm just gonna be teaching you as you're doing this and you're wiggling, then you're gonna stand up, stand up and let it spring and slide to a point. Okay, and there's the stem. Now I'm teaching you all kinds of lessons each week that will help you accomplish. See, I'm using a big brush, but you can use a smaller brush for these um, calyx on that rose, okay? Now, one more thing I wanna share with you that all of these strokes, I go slowly, I teach you each stroke, we practice together and the relax and paint on Wednesdays those come on really early in the morning so that any time of the day um, you can get on and paint, okay? 
or just be inspired to paint later. Okay, now this is my scruffy brush. Now what I do is I pounce this one, absolutely no water on this brush, except when you clean it, of course. So I pounce some Violet Pansy and some white. And look, what I want you to have is a round area. See, I don't twist the brush. I just pounce it in an area like that. And then I'm gonna tip my brush on the side and we can get lilacs or wisteria all on there. If you over pounce it, you can just go back and pick up some darker color, or you can go back and pick up some white, get some prettier highlights in there. Okay, so see how that just makes something happen. All right. So I just want you to see that this is a quick and easy technique. And I'm gonna sit there step-by-step step and help you learn how to use each brush and help you learn how to get blending, shading, and highlighting in every stroke that you make. Look what happens with those strokes. And look what happens with these. And look what happens when the shading makes it look. This technique right here, this one leaf can take an hour in a traditional class but I have you doing it right away. Okay, so doesn't that sound fun? And I just want you to know that all the relax and paint, when I talk about membership, it's kind of confusing because then people think they don't get my free lessons. You still get my free lessons. I've just added another element to my channel, which is the join the membership which gives you 10% off all my products on my site, gives you discounts on all my paid lessons each month. I have four full-length lessons with, um, besides the four that you get for $9.95. So any questions you have, be sure when you join that you try to do the auto join so it automatically comes out because then people were frustrated because they didn't realize they just did month by month. And you can quit anytime, even if you do auto, it's easy to get off. But I have to tell you, when you get started, it's a little addictive. <laughs> so that's not a wicked laugh. That's a fun laugh. I'm excited to meet with you guys on a weekly basis on my one uh, stroke Donna Dewey YouTube channel. Thank you very much.